Today on Chaos Garage, we're going to take all these parts and tools and make two of these. Stay tuned, let's get started. Welcome back to Chaos Garage guys. Today we're going to make a green LED underwater fish light. I've already made one so I got the recipe down for us. I'm going to take you through the whole build. I'll fast forward through some stuff but uh, this is going to be the entire thing. Not going to be a short video but you should be able to make these yourself after watching this. So what we've got as far as materials is we've got inch and a half PVC that inch and a half PVC is cut to well it's cut to basically 11 and 3 quarter to 11 and 7 eighths so it's not exactly perfect doesn't have to be perfect then we've got some clear PVC which is two and a half inch yeah, two and a half inch. Got off Amazon. And this is exactly 12 inches. So it's just a hair longer. The important thing is that you want your PVC to be just a hair shorter than your clear pipe. So we'll set those aside for now. As far as what else you'll need, obviously you're going to need a LED strip. Now this is the green one as you saw in the, the beginning I'm sure. And I, I'll link this if I remember I'll link it. I'll link it to uh, the Amazon page in the description. That's basically it. Comes on a roll like that. It's got an adhesive backing, but I wish it was wound the other way because this is what you need to start with. What's on the inside, so you got to unwind the whole thing. But we'll get to that. Uh, also, we've got some battery clamps, just standard clamps. We have half of a 25 foot uh, light duty extension cord outdoor rated got that from Home Depot it's not that expensive one zip tie a fuse holder and a 10 amp fuse and then I've got some end caps that fit that plastic pretty tight so this thing will be waterproof for sure and also I got just a, a sheet of plastic uh, a couple grocery bags two or three grocery bags will do uh, you just need something and, and you'll see why when we get to that point point. and last but not least as far as supplies you need some some kind of weights I happen to have a bunch of these concrete anchors and I know that seven of them like that will go in to the end of this just fine so it's, it's going to be pretty hefty. As far as tools, you need some butt connectors, wire strippers, a drill bit, a step bit helps to something to crimp the butt connectors, a rag, tape measure helps, some silicone. If you can do if you can get marine grade that's better this is just the cheap cheap stuff but it'll work uh, some type of cutting utensil a sharpie the only reason this extension is here is you'll see it's you're not using it as an extension you're just using it as a uh, stuffer some mineral spirits some stupid glue and then you need a drill a block of wood helps and then either a lighter or some type of torch 
because you've also got uh, heat shrink tubing and a razor blade helps so that's about it this is really not that hard to make but like I said I'm gonna go through the whole thing so you should be able to do it start from finish let's get started so first thing you want to do is you want to take your already cut PVC determine which end is going to be your starting place and then you want to mark half inch to three quarter from the end so we're going to do actually right in the middle of that so we're going to do uh, right there so that's in between half and three quarter You want to take a drill bit, the smaller the better. Basically what you're doing is just fitting those two wires through that hole. That's it. This one's a little big, but it'll work. And it's hard to drill on that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tap. And I'm just going to hit it with a hammer. That way it knocks a little indention in there then my drill bit won't slide around another option is to just take something and kind of score it but this is easy to do as well that's all you're gonna need that drill bit for So there's our hole. I'm just going to use the step bit to kind of chamfer it a little bit. Clean it up some. Alright, so we start with the fun part. Take some mineral spirits or anything. You want to clean this. You want to make sure it's clean. That way that adhesive will stick. If you do it, if you clean it well, then you don't have to add super glue every six inches or so when you wrap every two or three wraps uh, it's good insurance if you want to do that it's not going to hurt anything but if you make sure this is clean then you're good to go Since I said we got to do this the other way, these are 16.4 feet, by the way. So, if your measurements of your if, if your LED strip is longer or shorter, um, just don't pre-cut this. Just do the same thing and start, and then go about. Well, you'll look. Just go about that far, and then cut the end of it. You know, uh, half inch or so past where your strip stops but because we need at those wires I got to unroll this whole thing so I'm actually gonna string it out so give me a second Alright, so I laid it flat so all the backing is facing in the same direction. That way, uh, when I did the first one today, I, I had this kind of curled up just as I unrolled it in a pile. And uh, this kept twisting and all that stuff, so this will make life a lot easier. So you take your two ends, put them through your PVC. you want to take this backing off of this tape be careful the adhesive sticks to the strip not the tape like what happened to me okay so from there 
you don't want to go straight across but you want to hold it like you were going to do it just to even wrap around but just go slightly down just a hair and just continue to peel and wrap as you do that You want to get these as close together as you can without overlapping them so this is going to take me a minute so here's a fast forward part There you go, completely rolled. We got our tail coming through here. <coughs> you can take, since we don't need that, because we're not running this off of a uh, their kind of power supply, is right where the strip ends, you can see the corners where that wire soldered on. All you gotta do is just snip it off right there. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Now for a little bit of safety, we're going to take some super glue and just add a little bit to the underside of that plastic that's left and just glue it down. And you're going to do the same thing up top to hold these wires in place. That's it really. You don't have much uh, super glue past that. Now, as I said, when you were wrapping it, you could do two or three wraps and then put some on here, and the two or three wraps and put some under the, the backing just to kind of help it, just as extra insurance. That's up to you. I think this works pretty well. All right, so that's the hard part. It's done. I'll take a break, and then we'll be back and continue on. All right, let's continue. 
Next thing you want to do is take, let's see, what do we want to do next? Let's take our caps. Let me show you these caps. These caps are a tight fit against this PVC, which is good. That's what you want. So we're going to take one of those and we're going to take the step bit we're going to drill a hole in the center of one of these caps. You want the hole to be just big enough to fit the, ex the extension cable through, but you don't want it any bigger than you have to make it. So the tighter the better. I'm just going to eyeball center. If you're using one of the skinny, like Harbor Freight step bits, if you go down, I think three eighths is probably perfect for <coughs> fitting that extension cord. See, that's a pretty tight fit. That'll work for me. Do not drill your hand. I've done it before. It's not fun. All right. Next thing we want to do, I guess, is start our wiring. Take one end of your extension cord, run your wire through it. Take a big piece of heat shrink. Big piece of heat shrink. Slide it over as well. Now on this end, you don't need a whole lot. You know, just cut off a couple, a couple inches of just the sheet. A razor blade works very well. You just put a little bit of pressure on it and just turn the razor blade and the wire. It scores it enough to where you can usually just twist it back and forth and it'll break just the sheath without cutting into the other wires. And this has three wires, being DC you only need two, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make my black negative and my white positive, so you can just cut the green off. Just leave it in there, hang on. And you wanna strip the ends of both of these. You could solder these, or you could just use butt connectors. I'm just using butt connectors because it's easy. And I don't know if I have a soldering iron that works at the moment. One trick I do a lot, if the wires are smaller than I need them to be, and I need them to be the, the thickness with the insulation, is you can just fold the end of the wire over. And then it'll fit better side of whatever you're gripping. Use butt connectors, always give them a little pull just to make sure that they're good. 
So after that, you slide your heat shrink back over. The reason I use this big one is because I've got two butt connectors to go over. And then from there, you want to take your heat source. using something like this you want it as low as possible because it will burn it pretty quick and don't burn yourself There we go, now that'll be hot. So let's sit that there for a minute, let it cool off. <clears throat> All right, still a little warm, but let's, let's proceed. So what I did from here was where those butt connectors are. Bin it. Before and after. Basically, what we're doing is just stuffing the wire down in there so it doesn't pull tension on that. So, once you do that, take one zip tie. wrap it around the wire and cut off the tail. What this is going to allow is when we get ready to put this cap on, we're going to fill it full of silicone. And when I, as I let it dry, I'm going to pull that all the way back up into the silicone and let it hang and that will seal this in that silicone that way you can't pull the wire out all right on to the next part take your clear tube and your other cap and we're going to join those together so to do that We're going to take something that we can get silicone on. Not my pants. And then you need to put uh, a healthy dose. I would say maybe fill this whole cap with a uh, quarter of the way full. So see I got it about a quarter of the way full. And now I'm going to put some on the outsides. And this is going to be the messy part here. So.
this is going to be messy, but you want the silicone on here because uh, this is going to be what makes your waterproof seal. So don't be afraid to overdo it a little. There'll be a step where we clean it all off. Take your tube, determine your clear tube, whichever is going to be at the top or the bottom. Stick it down on that cap. You can either hit it, just keep hitting it with your hand, or you can take like a piece of wood and just Tap it a couple times till it's seated all the way. Once it's seated all the way, take your rag and wipe away from the plastic because you don't want to get any silicone on the plastic part or the clear part. makes it look nice all right GoPro died let's continue so got this in there we're gonna take our weights actually before we do that we're gonna take this plastic and just kind of ball it up and shove it down in there into the end of the PVC. Then take whatever you're going to use as weights. And put them in the end of the PVC. take your clear tube and stick it all the way down into all that silicone that you just put down there. That'll hold the weight and everything and you take whatever packing apparatus you're using and just push that plastic down that way you know all your weights and stuff are all in the silicone at the bottom now we're going to do the same thing to the top A lot of silicone. And while you're doing that, where your wire comes in through that little hole, put a dab of silicone on it too. All I'm doing is pushing the silicone down into the ribs on this cap. Then you 
you're going to take this cap and watch out if you got silicone on your hands. Make sure you don't have silicone on your hands and get it on the clear plastic. And you're going to do the same thing. Just wipe it away from the seam. And you can wipe off what's left of the cable. Pull the cable all the way up till it stops on that tie we put in there. Just clean all that silicone up that's on the outside before it starts to dry. All right, so that part's done. set him over there kind of rearrange some stuff and all we got to do is put fuses and a clamp on the other side and we're done so we're gonna take the other end of the extension cord and we're gonna strip it back you know about that far about a hand length we're gonna do the same thing just cut the sheathing off green wire all right so here we're going to take the next size smaller piece of heat shrink Get it fitted back. There we go. <clears throat> All right, we'll take one end of our fuse holder. connector then we want to take this white wire and strip it maybe about an inch and an inch or two from the sheathing just enough to strip it and put a butt connector on it All right, I don't know what's wrong. This this camera's aggravating me. Anyways, where we cut that white wire off, we put a butt connector, or we attached our fuse thing right there, slid the heat shrink back over, shrank that, and we did the same thing for the clamps. I used a piece of red heat shrink and black heat shrink. Crimped them down on the, the clamps, like, like it tells you in the directions. And that's it. That was the end. Um, 
so also we put the fuse in now everything's good to go let's take it over to the boat plug it in test it make sure it works and i'll show you what these things look like i'll be right back all right so here we go just hang it off the side of your boat hook it to a battery and you have green light waterproof weighted should be good to go now we got two of them hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned how to do this like I said it wasn't gonna be a short one but I wanted to show you so anyone could recreate these instead of having to pay 50 60 bucks or however much for the same thing basically so hope you enjoyed it guys we'll catch you later on cast garage